Well, I promised you guys a video on lithium batteries. Let's get it. So we already talked about AGM batteries. See, told you. So I guess now it's time to talk about lithium batteries. So I pulled a few batteries from the inventory here at SSR. And I guess we'll go over those real quick. Well, let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we've got a lithium unit here from Shuriken. And then we've got a couple excess power batteries, one from the XV series and one of the infamous Titan 8 Plus batteries. That's a special one. And then we've also got this awesome unit from Limitless Lithium. This is the Retro 30. Then we got this weird guy from Limitless Lithium, but it's not lithium? We'll deal with you in a minute. Go away. Now, lithium batteries are tricky. With lithium batteries, you got to figure out which model works best, what brand works best, so you really need to know your application, right? So if you're just looking for an extra little add-on battery, something you can throw with your stock electrical, even your stock battery, and not have to worry about isolation, all this weird chemistry mixtures and whatnot, you want to go with a little guy like this from XS Power. This is the XV series. Now, this little guy right here is easily affordable, super lightweight, doesn't weigh anything, takes up a really small footprint, and that'll hold you down for an extra, what, 800 to 1200 watt amplifier? Now, Shuriken makes this little guy right here. This will hold you down for about a 800 to 1200 watt amplifier as well. A little bit larger unit, but obviously it's lightweight, right? Doesn't cost too, too much. And an excellent, excellent option for adding a little bit of extra power without having to do all kinds of crazy electrical upgrades. And both these units right here, you can add to your stock electrical system. Nothing weird going on, just add them as a secondary battery. They don't take more than 14.8 volts, so your stock electrical system will totally suffice to keep these little boogers charged. And now we have this guy from XS Power, the Titan 8 Plus. This unit is the PWR S6. Now this battery will hold voltage in charging mode well over 15 volts. Now the Power S5 is your normal 12 volt version thereof. It likes to see around 14, 8, 15 volts max. The Titan 8 Plus batteries offer linkability, which that's pretty cool. You can shove your wires in right there. That's actually pretty neat. You can link the batteries side by side. Comes with this cool little side panel that covers all that up. Now, for something like this, you definitely are going to have to have some sort of battery isolator or an isolation relay under the hood. What you don't want to do is mix this particular chemistry with anything you have under the hood that's not the exact same. Now, the Titan 8 Plus from XS Power, these particular batteries are more for your enthusiasts. This is when you're kind of like starting to walk into the front door of crazy. Definitely something to graduate into. All right, now we got this guy. This is the Retro Pro 30 from Limitless Lithium. This is an awesome unit. Definitely, definitely do not want to have this battery paralleled with any like regular old AGM or, or stock unit battery. You, you want to have some sort of isolation relay in between those two to protect them from one another. It's relatively lightweight, but kind of like the Excess Power Titan 8 Plus, this is something that's Mm, borderline enthusiast or the everyday street guy that really wants to push about four or five thousand watts continuously on a daily basis now it doesn't want to see a charge over 15 volts uh standard you know on a lot of lithium batteries nowadays so no crazy charging high charging or anything weird like that so this is kind of like your your borderline going from normal everyday street banger into something a little bit more serious but without all the crazy psychotic electrical upgrades so with those first two units you just throw them in the car in parallel red to red black to black locate it somewhere in the back somewhere near your amplifier so you can keep your amplifier leads relatively short anchor it down you're good to go but with the titan 8 plus from excess power and with the retro pro 30 from limitless lithium you really need to add in a battery isolation relay and at that point that's where you really want to start considering a high current alternator upgrade and even a big three upgrade but we'll get to that in another video so i told you we'd get to this guy we're gonna save him for last and the reason why is yeah it's limitless lithium kind of but not lithium so how does that work so that's definitely a lithium unit what is this guy this is a sodium ion battery this is something very very new from limitless lithium they offer it in three different sizes a 12 amp hour 30 amp hour and even a 50 amp hour and i heard they were coming up with a 100 amp hour but I don't know. We'll have to kind of stay tuned, I guess. But what a sodium ion battery offers you is the ability to connect any of them, even the big ones, 
to your stock electrical without the use of a battery isolator, which is really cool. Now, obviously on a unit like this, you'll definitely want to get some sort of high current alternator, big three upgrade, blah, 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 all that stuff. But it's really neat. Uh, it is a sealed battery. You can mount it sideways if you want to, all that good stuff, just like any old AGM. And uh, it offers you a lot of flexibility to add a ton of power to your system without any sort of crazy, you know, isolators or anything like that. So guys, there you have it. That is the low down, that's the skinny on lithium batteries with a little salt thrown in the mix. So if you got any comments or any questions, drop them down below. We'll get back to you and help you out as best we can. Until next time, I gotta get back to work. SSR Distributors. Man, them lithium battery be busting, man.